gimbal is a flying robot with a difference. It's able to transmit continuous live footage in difficult terrain, even when confronted with obstacles. It's designed to replicate an insect's ability to shrug off collisions, says co-creator Adrian Briod from Swiss Technology Institute EPFL. We wanted to reproduce this ability of insects to cope with collisions and stay in the air after a contact instead of breaking and falling to the ground. That's why we developed the gimbal robot that allows this inner frame to remain stable wh even when there is a strong collision that affects the orientation of the outer frame, the protective frame. Fitted with an HD camera, gimbal's double carbon fiber spherical ring keeps it oriented vertically. According to co-designer Shamak Kornatowski, its exterior cage absorbs shocks as it rotates. The cage, for example, this, this spherical uh, structure around is made of carbon fibers, uh, carbon fiber rods, with uh, these white plastic parts which connect them uh, together. The robot can actually, uh, when it's uh, flying, can also a bit roll on the obstacles or on the floor or on the walls. 34 centimeters in diameter and weighing just 370 grams, gimbal is powered by twin propellers and steered by fins. Its gyroscopic stabilization system helps it stay on course. Briod says gimbal offers a crash-proof leap forward in rescue mission camera technology. Typically we're able to fly through a forest without even avoiding the trees. We would just fly into them and continue flying after the collision. We want to fly in collapsed buildings, in uh, factories uh, that may have been demolished or places wherever we would want to uh, go and search uh, for gas leaks, etc. Uh, people uh, after an earthquake. Other drones use motion sensors, which Briod says are heavy, fragile and unable to operate in smoky conditions. But he says it's gimbal's resilience that sets it apart and in the competitive world of drone technology provides an impact that's hard to ignore.